On this night we gather to remember. We open our hearts and minds to relive the pain and victory which has become for us the doorway to the eternal. We recognize the shadows which encroach on every life and meditate on that one moment in history when the shadows seem to extinguish the light entirely. We come in awe and worship, for the darkness has never and will never overcome the light revealed in the human life and death of Jesus Christ. I don't know when it happened, but things changed somehow. At first he was strong, confident, outspoken. I had such high hopes. Finally a leader to throw off the Romans. But just when the time was right, at the height of his prophecy, he withdrew. He became quiet, almost introspective. I thought a bit of a push would help him to reach his greatness. You know, pass on a bit of information about his movements, and make a bid on the side for me, and then watch him rise to victory when they came for him. Only it didn't work out like that. He let them take him. You'll betray me, Judas, he said. I wonder how he knew. I thought I'd been discreet, but I didn't expect it to turn out the way it did. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. It was a dark night. We didn't expect those terrible things. 
Perhaps we should have foreseen it, prepared for it. Maybe then we would have reacted differently and stood with him through it all, but we didn't understand. So there we were, Peter, James, and me, fast asleep, oblivious to his pain, and suddenly he's waking us up, and there is Judas, and lights, and swords, and soldiers. They're arresting Jesus. We were no match for them, and they would have taken us too. We were terrified, and so we ran away, all of us, and left him to face their swords alone. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. so much more for myself. Oh, at the table it was easy. When Jesus talked about being betrayed and arrested and dying, I was angry and protected. I'll fight for you, Lord, I said. I'll die for you. I thought he was just frightened and emotional when he replied, No, Peter, before the cock crows three times, you will deny knowing me. Deny him? I wouldn't have thought it possible. But that was then. Now I know it's true. When it finally came down to it, I couldn't fight for him. I couldn't die for him. I couldn't even answer the question. Yes, I know him. I follow him. I believe in him. And as they led him away, he looked at me. Those eyes, I expected anger and judgment, but there was only love. In his eyes, there was ever, only ever love. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Thank 
Somehow I've developed a reputation for doubt and questioning, a little unfairly, I think, but I do confess to being confused and uncertain, especially at the end. I mean, he healed the sick, he raised the dead, the whole nation was eating out of the palm of his hand. Then, suddenly, they were shouting, crucify him. With all his power, he just stood there. And then when the soldiers mocked him, he took it all. They stripped his body, torn from the terrible flogging, and pretended to worship him as king. With a crown of hard Judean thorns, they hit him, spat on him, and pulled his hair and beard. How was I to understand this? He could have snuffed them out in a heartbeat, but he didn't. He just let them mock. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. <laughs> Let us pray together. And so, Lord Jesus, light of the world, we come to you confessing the darkness within us. We come simply because you are merciful and you have filled our hearts with light. We come to be changed, 
Let your presence cast out all shadows and keep us in your light forever. Amen.